Everybody, God is so good, and truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, bless God, it's time to pray again. And the thought that came to mind is that passage of scripture found in the book of Romans, the 8th chapter and the 31st verse, that declares, if God be for us, who can be against us. And as I began to meditate on that, I was taken back to the book of 2 Kings around the 6th chapter where there was this prophet named Elijah. And this prophet named Elijah was getting some downloads from God. You know, God was speaking to him and he was revealing to him the secrets of the king of Syria. And this is some good stuff. I would encourage you to go and read 2 Kings the 6th chapter. So as God was revealing to the prophet, the plans of the king of Syria, the prophet was going to the king of Israel to tell him what Syria was doing. So Syrian king got mad. He said, who is this that is in my bedroom? Who is this that knows my secrets? And it was told to him it was a prophet in Israel named Elijah. And so, well, wait a minute, let me stop right there. That's a word for somebody right there. You know, the devil hates the prophetic. You wonder if you are operating in the prophetic. Hallelujah. That's why, you know, the devil hates the prophetic because it exposes him. Hallelujah. It exposes those secret things that he's trying to do. God gives you advance notice. Hallelujah. So bless God for the prophetic word that goes forth. And then let's take it a little deeper. God's getting ready to expose huh, someone's plans to someone. Hallelujah. So listen to the prophetic word. God's going to speak to you. He's going to begin to expose the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. And so the king of Syria, getting back to our story, the king of Syria sent over a group, of, you know, an army against Elijah. And so Elijah in his house, minding his own business, his little armor bearer went out. <laughs> the little armor bearer saw all of the um, Syrians surrounding Elijah. And he got scared. And he went in and he told Elijah, that they were surrounded by the Syrians. And so what did Elijah do? Elijah didn't fall apart. Elijah didn't get, you know, upset. Elijah prayed. That's a word right there for somebody too. You need to pray. You know, when you see the enemy coming up against you, prayer is going to take that enemy down. And so Elijah prayed that, you know, his he was already full of faith, but he prayed that his armor bearer would have that same faith. And so he prayed that God would open up the eyes eyes of his armor bearer that he might see what was really going on. You know, sometimes the enemy just wants you to see what he's doing. But I want to tell you today, God wants you to see the supernatural. God wants you to see in the spiritual realm. And so as Elijah prayed that prayer for his man of God, for his armor bearer, you know, God opened up the eyes of his armor bearer and he saw what was really going on. You know, there was chariots of fire, hallelujah, surrounding them series. And you know, God wasn't going to let the prophet be hurt. And that's a word to you today. God said uh, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Uh, God said, touch not mine and anoint it uh, and do my prophet no harm. Uh, God has you in the palm of his hands uh, and nothing can pluck you out. God's not going to let the enemy hurt you for doing what is good. God's not going to allow the enemy to have his way with you. God is in control. And so you know what? I like how the story ends. Elisha didn't pray that his enemies would be, you know, this time be wiped out. But God, Elijah prayed that they would be blinded. You know, God, just touch them a little bit so they know who's boss. Just touch them a little bit so they'll know not to mess with the prophet. They done mess with the wrong one. They done, that's a word for somebody today. You know, the enemy done mess with the wrong one. Hallelujah. He wants you to back down. He wants you to give up your faith. He wants you to just see again what he's doing. But I declare to you today, the prophetic word to you today is that God is for you. Hallelujah. And if you would get into the spiritual realm, uh, you wouldn't be walking in fear because you would know that you serve a God that's great. Uh, you would know that you serve a God that has never lost a battle. Uh, you would know that you serve a God uh, that owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Uh, you would know that you serve a God uh, who's able to do exceedingly abundantly uh, that which you could ever ask him or think. Uh, you know that you would serve a God that declares uh, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness
on the stair end, you would not be afraid and you would have faith to believe that your God is well able. So that's the prophetic word to you today. If God be for you, he's more than the world against you. Receive it today. Walk in that assurance knowing that your God's got your back. Hallelujah. So, you know, what did the word of God say in the New Testament? Jesus declared if we ask anything in his name, you know, he would do it. Pray about it. If you're going through something, pray about it. Give it to the Lord and God will work that thing out. He said if two of us agree, get you a prayer partner. Get you a prayer partner and pray on that thing. Get that devil up out your business. Hallelujah. And he said if the word abides in us, we can ask and we get to quote that word. You know the word. Quote that word. Uh, get that enemy up out of your business. Hallelujah. Speak the word that's sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, speak the word that God declares. Uh, his word will not return unto him void. Uh, speak the word. Hallelujah. That God said uh, not a dot or tittle of it would pass away. Speak the word that's settled in heaven. Uh, and you know what? I heard a pro someone say that the devil got to, you know, go up in heaven and retrieve that word. He can't do that because he's been kicked out. He told by Shata. So come on, y'all. Hallelujah. We can do this thing because we serve a great God who's able to do exceedingly abundantly that which we can ever ask him or think. Know today that not only do you have a great, strong, kind, loving, faithful, just, hallelujah, God, but he loves you. Hallelujah. God loves you and I love you and I'm praying for you and until we meet again, stay strong. Hallelujah. And keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Father, I praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. And so I enter into your gates uh, with a hallelujah, Father. I come before your courts with a praise, God. Uh, I come before your courts to bless you, Father, for you are good uh, and your mercy, it endures until the end. I bless you, Father, in Jesus' name. Uh, I bless you because you've been good to us. Uh, I bless you because you've been kind to us. Uh, I bless you because you provided for us. Uh, I bless you because you protect us, God. I bless you because you never left us, God. I bless you because you died for us. I bless you for the word. I bless you for the angels. I bless you for loving on us, God. And I give you praise, God. You've been good. Your mercy has always endured, Father. Your mercy endures until the end. You are high, God. And lifted up. You're seated on the throne, God. And the train of your robe and fills the temple with glory. All hail King Jesus. All hail Emmanuel, our mediator, our great high priest, the one that has gone before us, the one that shed his blood for us, the Lamb of God, Son of Man, Son of God, Emmanuel who was God with us, and the Word became flesh, and it dwelt among us. All the one that gives us the victory, for we have the victory in Christ Jesus, the one that always causes us to triumph. What a mighty God we serve. Who is like you, God? There's none on the earth like you, Father. There's none in the heavens like you. Hallelujah, God. All will see and know that you are Lord. So I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus today, Father. And my simple prayer for your people, God, is that you would open up their spiritual eyes, God, that they might be able to see. Just as Elijah prayed, for his armor barrier. I pray for your people today, Father, that they would take their eyes off of circumstances and put their eyes on you. Help them to get into your word today, Father. Help them to get on their faces before you today. Help them to push the plate back today, Father. Help them to seek you earnestly, God. Help them to cry out to you, Father God. Help them, God, to put their faith in you. Increase their faith today, Father. For you said without faith is impossible to to please you, Father. Increase their faith and help them, God. Bring back to them the remembrance of all of the victories that you have done in the past, God. Let them know, God, that you're still able, God. Help them to search out the word for the victories. Help them to look to the word and not the world, God. Help them, help them, help them, help them, God, I pray. In the mind.
mighty name of Jesus, God. Pour out your spirit, God. Give them another measure of their spirit today, Father. Help them to walk in the spirit and not the flesh, Father God. Uh, help them, Lord, to speak your word. Put a guard over their mouth, God, that they would only say those things that the word of God has declared, Father. And oh, God, we're careful to give you the glory. Help the man of God today, God. Increase them today, Father God. Strengthen them today, Father God. Give them a word for your people today, Father God. Uh, give them a rhema word, God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Bless his going in and coming out, Father God. Uh, help him, God. Uh, hallelujah to do your will today, Father God. Help him to lead your people, Father God. Uh, help him to help the people to love you more, God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, help him to point the people to you, my Lord. Teach him, Lord. Help him, Lord, to teach the people to trust in you, to put their faith in you, Father. For when we do that, things are going to happen. When we put our faith in you, Father God, mountains are going to move. When we put our faith in you, the devil is defeated. Haya bahaya. The devil is a defeated foe. So I rebuke Satan right now in the name of Jesus and I bind his works. I come against witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I bind it. I come against every opposing spirit. I bind them in the name of Jesus God. And I declare greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, God. I pray, God, you continue to move in the lives of your people, God. Continue to open up the closed doors, Father. Continue to rain out favor on your people. Continue to expose the plans of the enemy. Send the prophetic word forth in the name of Jesus. I, I call on the prophets. I call on the prophets, God. Raise them up in the name of Jesus. Those with a prophetic word, God. Those with a word from heaven, God, to speak unto your people today, God. Oh, Father, words from heaven, oracles from heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I pray. Amen. You know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story. The Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb, because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16 he says for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior to wash away all of your sins Romans 10 9 says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says if you call on the name of the Lord he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also if you have walked away from the Lord come on back home. Just say Lord I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.